I just would like to say to those that are out here committing their crimes, I just really wish they would just put the guns down, let our children live, let this generation live. Powerful words from a mother honoring the life of her son. Tomorrow marks one year since Dante's lock was shot and killed on the near northwest side. His mother sharing her emotions and fight for justice only with CBS 4's Darius Johnson. Continue to guard us right now with your heart and your love, oh God, as we'll be gracious to give you all the honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. A family coming together with balloons, often used during celebrations, but more recently in loving memory, this time of 21-year-old Deontay's lock. It's difficult. I'm just going to say it's been difficult. This past year has been a lot of stress, um, not on myself, but just family and everything. His mother, Kelly Langford, was too distraught to speak when we met a year ago, but she's now mustered up enough strength to speak about her only son, her baby. I just miss him. Like, I look out the window all the time for him. You know, I know he's not coming, but it's just something that I do. October 19th marks a year since Locke was found shot to death inside his vehicle in this alleyway. His family still struggling with the loss now that they're watching over his three baby boys. I get emotional every time I get him. I just cry, just hold him, not hold him tight. His oldest son is a replica of him. I mean, like just from his looks to his behavior, attitude, everything. Her grandchildren are what keep her fighting as IMPD detectives investigate. I am aware that it was assigned to another detective. However, this detective is working tirelessly to find the uh, suspect or suspects who are responsible for Mr. Locke's death. While police continue their investigation as to what happened on Dexter Street, Langford has already forgiven whoever pulled the trigger. I never want any like hurt, harm, and danger over the individuals involved, but I want them to be caught and I want them, you know what I'm saying, to have to pay for what they did to him. While hoping for justice for her own, she hopes the same for others experiencing a similar loss. I just, I want to pray for justice for, uh, to prevail for all the families that are waiting. And I just wish the violence would just stop. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Darius Johnson. And if you know anything about this crime or any others being investigated by IMPD, call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS.